All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be go going over the audio and video setup again. So I actually opened this up already, so it's right here. But if you don't know how to find it, you can either go to the search bar and just type in A or any audio video setup that'll come up there. Just open that up. Or you can go to your launch pad or your finder and just search audio MIDI setup and that'll come up. So now we're here in the main menu of it. In the main menu, it has stuff that's connected to it. So I have my built-in microphone, the out built-in output. For some reason, Premiere Elements has its own thing. And then I also have the audio box, which is my um, audio interface, which has its own settings for um, one and two which is the two um, inputs. To, you can set the format, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is also input. There's input and output. There's two different things for those. But this isn't really important. There's not, you're not going to be doing too much in here unless you want to add a new um, new output device that isn't showing up for some reason. But usually they'll just show up and you won't have to worry about this page. Um, so what else do we have in here? Let's go to the window tab, which is going to have everything else in it. We have a show video studio. I'm going to go over that in a minute. I might want to go over the next two first. So then we have a show network device browser, which is just anything connected through the network, which I don't actually have anything connected through the network right now. So there's not actually going to be anything showing up. But if you did have something like that, it would show up there. And there's also iOS devices, um, like your iPad or something, which I don't have either. So it's not going to say anything in here. But that's also where it would show up. So the MIDI Studio is kind of cool. This is going to allow you to add devices and connect them through MIDI. So uh, what I can do is say my Trigger Finger Pro right here is connected to this. I can do this. Connect the output to the input. But it's not actually connected right now, so I'll do it on this one. Is that not going to how it works? Oh, that one. So then you can drag them to. They actually have to be connected to each other. That you can't just like drag them around. But that's how you would do it. You can actually drag use these ports, and you can drag them to each other. And you can add new devices. But usually, if they don't show up, you can usually just rescan. But you can add a device here. So we'll go to this new external device, which we can now hopefully connect properly. How do you connect them? Oh, you just you need to actually make sure you hover. And as you can see, the line is there now. I'm going to delete this device, but double click it to open the settings. And once you have the settings, you um, have your 16 MIDI channels for um, transmitting and receiving for input and output. You have your beat clock and your time code for both. Then you have some general stuff down here. Uh, you can put an exclusive ID if it has one, or you just refer to it as whatever ID you want it to be. You have machine control and general MIDI. Change the color. It doesn't really matter, but you just change the color you want it to be out in like the name of it. Um, change the manufacturer, the name of it, the model, and all, and then you change the icon even if you wanted to. And then, oh, don't apply. Ports though. As you can see, you can set up MIDI device port structure here. First set the number on the device, then indicate the number of MIDI in and out connectors to each port. So each port you can set whether you have MIDI in and out, MIDI out, MIDI in. So for my case, I would only have, say I was talking about my um, audio box, I would have two ports. Each one is going to have MIDI in and a MIDI out. Um, yeah. So now I'm actually delete this device using device using remove device just get rid of that uh, you can just do a new configuration or edit configuration so i'm actually going to do this and then we're going to a new configuration which is going to actually change the entire configuration right here so right now this is default this is so if i say i connected like this over here now that's connected through the default but if i make a new configuration that's just gonna it's, it's gonna reset all of that but I can go back to it if I want to, which is going to be useful if you want to connect different, you you two different ways you connect your devices. But yeah, so that's pretty good. You actually just hit show info, which will also show the info for the device, but it's not going to give you all that editing stuff like it did before. 
You can just change the name, you can change the color, and that's really all you can do. Um, you can also rescan for MIDI, which is going to scan um, all the ports, see if there's more MIDI. The last thing you can do is you can test the setup. So nothing's actually going to happen because nothing's actually set up, but you should hear a beep or something on your device if it is working. Um, let's just hit these. If you hit these, you should hear something if it actually is set up, but mine's not set up. Um, so yeah.